to the Bengals puppet, who um, who hates Mayfield, but is the same guy who said, oh, Mayfield's going to be a stud in this league. He's going to be a beast. That's what he told me when the Browns drafted him. Oh, you're going to love him. He's going to be a beast. Um, he hates Mayfield. And he, oh, the Browns are going to trade Mayfield. They're a big article on ESPN. They, they have to give up all this stuff to get Aaron Rodgers. Number one, Bill Barnwell's a jackass. He makes articles for content. Uh, of course, he's going to make articles people will read. The Browns would not be dumb enough to trade Baker Mayfield for Aaron Rodgers, who Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Fame great quarterback. He's got another five years left. The Browns would win multiple Super Bowls with Aaron Rodgers. However, that being said, they're going to win multiple Super Bowls with uh, a younger Baker Mayfield. And I actually view Baker Mayfield as a cross between Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. I think he's going to be just as good, if not better. But let's look at uh, Baker Mayfield's uh, career. Comes in the league. Worst coach, worst coach in the in the game. Doesn't even give him a chance to start. Doesn't even give him a chance to compete. That season, we were just coming off an 0 16 season. 1 and 15 the season prior to that. So we won one game in 31 chances before Baker Mayfield got there. He's on the bench because he wasn't given a chance to start. And what happens? He comes in and leads us to a win. If we're down 14 to nothing against the Jets on a Thursday night game, Monday night, whatever. He comes in, lights a fire, boom, we win. He goes 7-7 seven and seven his rookie year. In fact, we could have made the playoffs. The last game was playoff implicated. And we got robbed of a touchdown right after half or before half, whatever, against the Ravens. We should have made the playoffs. With a team that was 1-31 the previous two years, Baker Mayfield went 7-7 seven and seven his rookie year. And we should have beat the – we got robbed of the game against the uh, Raiders, too. We, we had that game won. So he played great his rookie year. The co contrary to what the Bengals fans said, he only had one good year. One good year and two bad years. No, what well, was first year? He set records. He was a touchdown record for rookie. 13 games, 14 games, touchdown records. And then the second year happens. Freddie Kitchens, who isn't even a high school coach, shouldn't even been the coach. The whole team just implodes. Now, I'm going to tell you something. That was, he even had 22 touchdowns and 21 interceptions. He didn't play well, but considering the coach and what they were doing, teams knew what the Browns were going to do every game. They, they, they've said it. The offense was so predictable. So he didn't have a good year his second year. And Baker Mayfield's an easy guy to hate. I noticed he's very easy to hate for people because he was acting like a child. His rookie year, he did act like a child. They were staring down Hugh Jackson. It was almost like he was still in high school. He was, he was actually immature. Then he gets a real coach in Kevin Daniel Stefanski. And what's he do? Takes him four or five games to figure out the offense, which they say, hey, hey you're learning three offenses in your first fucking three years in the NFL, right? Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll say this. Baker Mayfield has the most adverse situation ever for a rookie quarterback to endure in his first three years. Think about this. The team was 0-16 before he came. They're 1-31 the first two years before he got there. He has to go through three head coaches, three head coaches, four different offenses, and then he finally figured out the offense uh, four or five games into the season last year, and he took off. And if you watched him in that playoff game, he played like a 10-year veteran. He was throwing darts. He looked unbelievable. Unbelievable. And um, this is Bengal fans. Oh, we got Joe Burrow. We got Joe Burrow. Listen, Joe Burrow's in a maximized offense for passing. He's in a quarterback's. They That's a beautiful cockpit for a quarterback. He's in a perfect quarterback offense. They passed the ball. I'm actually surprised Burrow's numbers weren't better than they – they should have been better. They really should have because if you're in that – Baker Mayfield in that offense, you'll have 50 TDs a season. But uh, I don't think Joe Burrow's a bad quarterback. I just see him as a cream puff arm, and he's in a perfect offense for a quarterback. Any quarterback would love to play in that spread offense. Zach Taylor's offense, I love his offense philosophy. I do. But he's got a cream puff arm. And uh, he just doesn't have the ability to put the ball in tight windows like Baker Mayfield. If you've seen the throws Mayfield made in the playoffs, it was unbelievable. He was making dart after dart after dart against the Chiefs, against the Steelers. The guy, he's just a stud. And um, here's what I view Joe Burrow as. I, I see him at best, at, at, at best, Matt Ryan, at best. But I more likely see him as a Chad Pennington. Serviceable, nothing great. Could get you in the playoffs. Could probably even win a Super Bowl if you got a good team around him. But nothing spectacular. I look at Baker Mayfield as like an Aaron Rodgers type talent, cannon arm, uh, just a great, just a great player. Brett Favre type characteristics. But I really look at Bay Baker Mayfield as that. And I wouldn't trade Baker Mayfield for any quarterback in the league right now. And I'm talking Mahomes and nobody. 
Baker Mayfield was in the most adverse situation ever in his first three years. Three different head coaches. If Josh Allen was in Cleveland instead of uh, Buffalo and Baker Mayfield was in Buffalo, I think Josh Allen would be on a second team right now. The Browns were the problem because I don't think he would have been able to do what Baker Mayfield did. Baker Mayfield had to overcome everything, and he flourished. And I'm not saying Josh Allen's bad. I'm just saying I don't think you put Baker Mayfield in the situation he was in Buffalo with Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, that's all you'd be talking about right now. Consistent three straight years with the same coach, same offense. Mayfield had to learn three different offenses. And he just came out and he played like a fucking stud this year. And um, I look for bigger and better things. Honestly, I look for a six Super Bowls in the next 10 years from the Browns. I really believe that. I truly believe that. We have our quarterback. Listen, I would love to have Aaron Rodgers, but I'm not trading Baker Mayfield to get him. Trust me. I love Baker Mayfield. I love what he brings to the table. Uh, if we had someone like Joe Burrow, I would make that trade. For Aaron Rodgers, but I'm not trading Baker Mayfield, who's 23, 24 for Aaron Rodgers. Even though I know Aaron's got another five years left, and I know that would guarantee the Super Bowls, I know I'm guaranteeing the Super Bowls with Baker Mayfield. Um, Baker May, and he's an easy guy to hate. I noticed a lot of former players hate him. That's because he acted childish, punking Hugh Jackson and this and that. But uh, the guy's a stud, and to be able to come in the NFL and do what he did under the adverse situation that he had to endure. I mean, you got Hugh Jackson gets fired, and you got fucking Greg Williams, defensive-minded coach. He goes 7-7 seven and seven after they were 0-16, 1-31. I mean, come on. Then his second year, he gets Freddie Kitchens, a fucking worst coach ever. Every team in the league knew what the Browns' offense was doing. They even said so. And then we finally get a real head coach in here, and look what happens. The team takes off. And I want you to look at Baker Mayfield in the playoffs, the way – his ability, his throws were so fucking, they were just darts. And I believe Kevin Stefanski lost his that game. He don't know how, it was his first year head coach, so I'm going to give him a break, but he didn't know how to use the players. He didn't. Kareem Hunt had six carries against the Chiefs. He should have had 15. And uh, we should have beat the Chiefs. We really should have. I thought he should have put the ball in Baker Mayfield's hand at the end of the game instead of trying to run the clock out, score 10 seconds left so they wouldn't get the ball back. I mean, you weren't looking at Pat Mahomes. You are looking at fucking... Uh, What's his name? Chad Henney. So I do believe um, Kevin Stefanski, as good as a head coach he is, he blosses that game. And uh, I'll, I'll go to my grave with that. But I'll give him a break as his first year head coach. He'll get better. I, I didn't like his play calls. There was a lot of times in the season against the, the Titans and the Cowboys. He gave up big leads. I noticed in the playoffs, uh, Mike Purefer, whatever, the special teams coach, I believe that was him, and Alex Van Pelt, they weren't about to give up that lead. Still, and started coming back. They expanded it. So I hope Stefanski learns on that. Plus, Stefanski threw the ball fucking 60 times against the Jets and only ran it 14 times. I mean, Mayfield was playing with receivers he never played with before. We had no receivers because they all had COVID. He did a lot of things bad. As good as he is as a coach, and he is, he did a lot of bad things that people don't want to recognize. And I believe it's more ego-driven than anything else. But I love Stefanski. I love what he brought to the table. We have a real organization now with Andrew Berry and uh, Deepo Testa. And I'll go on board. I didn't like Deepo Testa. We brought him here, but he's a beast. He's a fucking stud. Baker Mayfield, I wouldn't trade him for nobody. That's not a knock on Mahomes. I'm just saying, I know what we have. In, I know what we have in the future. And I know what Baker Mayfield, when I seen him perform in the playoffs, it was just unbelievable. He was throwing dart. Even the interception he threw against the Chiefs, that was uh, Jarvis Landry. He ran the wrong pattern. He just, and then he pouted afterwards. But Baker, as true champion as he is, he came back. And we were robbed of that game, too. We should have had a touchdown. We got called back. Spearing penalty, we would have scored. That game could have been different. We should have beat the Chiefs, no doubt about it. I blame Stefanski for that loss. Got to use Hunt more. But, um, yeah, I, like I said, Joe Burrow, I think he's going to be a Chad Pennington. Maybe a tad bit better. I don't know. But he just don't have the arm. And you got to have arm talent in this league. And, and he's got great players. Uh, he's got good receivers, T. Higgins and that other guy, Chase, whatever. So he should be good. But um, I'm just not seeing the same superstar that uh, Bengals fan is. And I, he already, I already know he loves Mayfield, so but he hates him. He hates him so bad. So, Bengals fan, look, you got Chad Pennington at best. right? I say you got Matt Ryan at best, and that's at best. When we have Aaron Rodgers at best, even better. And what I really think you have is Chad Pennington. So what, would you, what do we learn today that if Baker Mayfield was in a consistent offense like uh, Buffalo had for the first three years, he'd probably have 160 TDs right now after three years. I mean, he would just he would have took off. This guy's had to learn three. And his rookie, I mean, think about this. A rookie comes in a league and the team was so bad, you got to learn all these different offenses. Come on. So, and I understand why people hate Mayfield, but he has grown up and he's changed. And I'm glad he has because uh, there was times when I hated him. There was times when I hated him. He's acting childish. But we got a stud in Cleveland and we got a stacked roster. 
Six Super Bowls in the next 10 years, guaranteed. Didn't, didn't, didn't.